relationship with Goodwood uh, started back in 2011 when I was invited for the first time at the Festival of Speed after winning Le Mans and I uh, immediately fell in love with, uh, with the place. I thought it's amazing what Goodwood has, has made in honor to our sport and to be able to invite people all over the world with their, their amazing unique cars to honor legends. You see a lot of really original cars, untouched, and then you see immaculately restored cars that they are like jewels. Uh, I, I really like that also. Yeah, this one, the Jules. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. It's been raced by Jackie X and Derek Bell. It won Le Mans in 1981. It's my birth year. Some of these cars were going 400 kph at Le Mans without the chicanes, and uh, if you if you look at it, just the safety is just next to none compared to uh, what we are used to now. So, true heroes back then. So I've been driving a uh, Ford Mustang Boss uh, with um, Brad Shepard, and we won the race. So that was epic. Then in the St. Mary's, I uh, was in a Ford Galaxy, huge car. When I first saw that car, I was like, how is this gonna go around corners? But surprisingly, it goes around very well and has a lot of power. But unfortunately, we had technical issues, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't race. Uh, blew up the engine twice, so not so good. Who lose from the grid? Looks like it's 83, Andre Lotterer, who would have been fourth, but that Galaxy with a problem and sadly ain't going to take the start of the race. For the big race, the TT race, I'm in a lister. Mike Jordan's going to have to go defensive, but he's got Lotterer right up behind him, so Mike Jordan has got to now make this TBR wider than ever. If he doesn't do it, he needed to go earlier to the right to close the door on Lotterer. I mean, I'm a new generation driver, and didn't get to drive these kind of race cars throughout my career and um, thanks to Goodwood and the whole organization here, we have a platform where we can uh, experience what legends were experiencing back in the days. Yeah, I definitely have a lot of fun uh, drifting these cars uh, around uh, this special track. The Vendre Lotterer will win the RAC TT celebration at the end of just over an hour of great GT action. <laughs> This is a very special car. I remember seeing this car when I was a kid. My dad's team, they needed a trailer, and they went to uh, US Racing because he was selling one of his trailers, and that car was, was in his collection. There's not many cars that has the same chassis that won the more twice. And apparently, this car was going to win it for a third time. So that makes it even more unique, but I don't know, something happened and then they, they retired because of that, but that would have been amazing. All very simple. None of these electronics that we have now, traction control or anything. The boost wheel, probably the favorite tool any driver had because if you would crank up the boost, you could have a lot more horsepower. But then uh, I don't think your team will be happy with you because you can easily blow up the engine. So um, I'm, I'm sure some drivers played with it more than others and took the risk to do some good lap times. Well, I would have, for sure. <laughs> My passion for photography uh, started uh, 2016. I mean, I liked it a lot before. My dad was really big into it and uh, we were doing go-karts and he was doing his photography and then sometimes he was just testing on stills and I, was, I remember I was sitting in the go-kart for half an hour and just with my helmet waiting until he's getting his shots done. So I'm slowing down the shutter speed so it, uh, I have the speed effect but for that I need to catch exactly the, the speed of the car so we call it panning I guess. And uh, it's not so easy because when you go down to a 30th of a second or a 60th of a second, you have to be exactly at the same speed. 
So the car is sharp and the rest is blurred out through speed. So it's challenging. Not bad, not bad. With anything you do in life, if, if you put a lot of passion into it, you something come something good comes out of it, and people like my pictures and feel feel happy about that. But mostly, I enjoy myself. Having grown up with cars around you, you, you just know a bit better how to look at a car and what's the right angle to it and what looks cool on, on each car. So I try to, to look at it from that perspective, to get into detail and, 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 and then edit them afterwards. So it's uh, definitely a, a big exciting part for me to come to Goodwood as well to take pictures.